there is Jakob Dobish, the sparkling freshman. Look at those numbers. Save percentage, 94%. He's been the real deal. Ohio State wearing their home white sweaters. And off we go from Columbus. That's tipped in by Max Johnson. Checks over the shoulder to see who he's supported by. Bad angle shot. Fought off there by Dobish. Ohio State uses the boards to clear to center. So Sean nosing around there right in front of the bench looking for it. We have a whistle here at the start, but a little bit of a late hit. That's what you want to do on the power play. Outnumber the penalty killing unit. Wisconsin does. D. St. Foul thought about shooting. And a low drive there by Kuhlemans, easily handled by Jakob Dobish. It looked like he was mad at that time of that hit, but he has scored two goals or up three to one. I'm like, man, I'm having a good time out here. Let's let's go for some more. It looked like he was almost frustrated with his play at that time. Here's Josh S across for Malmquist looking for deflection, and they find it. Might have been off of Max Johnson either way. It's a huge power play goal for the Badgers. A couple skates and sticks were coming through. It's a Sam Stang tip really high. Just above the hash marks as he glides across the, fr the front of the net. You see, uh, he couldn't quite see it there with Erdahl in front, but he's doing his job. Malmquist with a really nice pack. Might actually. Trelor fries it loose. Tucks it back to McWard. Confidently across, returning to Trelor, dropping to McWard. That's fought off by Rowe. Just a dominating couple shifts here. Marooney shooting. Feasting on the rebound. Rowe stretching to make the save there on Feasting. S and the Badgers desperately need a clear. And here is Erdahl fighting his way to center, trying to chop it in. I mean, the other way, Ohio State. The quick shot and they score. Georgie Boy, the ripper. And he's got the equalizer. To stay on the ice, he's like, you know what? I'll take this by myself. One on five. Look at that. All five guys. Little highest shooting percentage in the Big Ten. Coach Rollick wishes he would shoot more. I think I see why. My goodness. Overtime game winner last night. Team leading goal. Team leading 17th goal tonight. It's been a fine weekend for the Russians so far. Georgie Merkulov. There's Dobish getting creative. A Sean steals and couldn't get the shot through. It's a rough year for them. They've had a lot of injuries. They have some guys that didn't even get the chance to get into the season at all for them. Staying shot is directed to the corner there by Jakob Dobish. Tony Granato saying this week that just need to focus on that bullseye. To get out of it, we got to get out of this thing together. Snapped in. Dobish will again direct the puck to the near boards. Gustav Westland, great puck protection down the left side. Westland shooting right on, not a problem for Cameron Rowe. Watch out, here comes Wisconsin the other way, led by Malmquist. He'll drop it off right in front. Jakob Dobish making the save there on Caden Brown. Gorniak trying the backhand pass, but instead it's off the back of the goal. Josh has the quick shot, shutting out that right leg was Dobish. I think uh, he'd be a one Buckeye you'd argue for. Uh, obviously, Georgie Merkulov, too. But uh, those guys on there are fantastic hockey players. McWard calming things down. A rather productive freshman season so far for Cole McWard, number three in white. He snapped that one. <laughs> that knocks the stick out of Cameron Rowe's hand. Cherimetta. Hops over the stick of Jaden Leslie, catches up to it, looking for the rebound. Cherimetta in front. Rowe has it smothered for a faceoff. It's been a pretty disciplined first period by both teams, so I know I say that, and the penalty will probably happen in the next 30 seconds. Here's Wise shooting. Might have got a piece of that Cameron Rowe. What a chance there for Jake Wise. But it's Gustav Westland. Potential three on two here. Tree Lore Westland shooting up high. And Rowe. Looked like that might have stung a little bit. Caught him up near the shoulder. The, the play has been pretty even. They're a very shorthanded team. Wisconsin, I talked about injuries they had before. And then couple that with Tyler Inamoto is out. Tarek Baker is out. And then Corson Bannell. Here's Cooley. Shoots. Scores! Eric Cooley, Ohio State, has the lead. Goals in consecutive.
consecutive games. That'll be his fourth on the season, but he just quite simply puts the wrister on net. Kind of looks like Cam Rowe should have had it. I think he sneaks through that blocker side a little bit. Yeah, he thought he had it, and that squeeze, squeezes right through. That's something the Badgers have been affected by some goal. Cooley gives him the lead. Yeah, they hope that doesn't turn out to be a deflating goal. Fourth of the year for Cooley, and as you can see, second this weekend. Mason Lowry gets the pass back from Merkulov. Across, row the save. It was Dunlap with the opportunity. C.J. Regula shooting row. Big save, big rebound. Had over 20 goals in the USHL last year. The guy can score goals, so it's just more of just the mentality. Watch out, Gorniak, the steal in shorthanded. Shoots, Dobish, did he keep it out? It looks close. The strip. And the breakaway he comes in, tries to go fake to his backhand, go to his forehand. That puck is sitting there. No. 115 to go in the first period. Here's Gabriel on the point. He'll sling it across. Jake Wise. Gabriel. A save made. That brown name, a familiar name in NHL circles. Unable to get the shot away. Dying seconds. Wisconsin will hold in. There's care of the shot right at Jakob Dobish, who doesn't release a rebound. Upcoming are auto owner's insurance intermission report. 2.2 to play here in the first. They've done well in the faceoff circle here, Wisconsin, in the first 20 minutes, but they trail 2-1. That is, knows his abilities and doesn't stray away from them, and he doesn't seem to get affected by negative things. I saw that with Eric Portillo last weekend. He reminds me much like him that a bad goal or a bad play like that does not affect him. It's also hockey on 60, or hockey and 60 on Monday. You want to catch up all the highlights. That's how you do it. There's Dobish with the save. Sliding out to center. Corson Kuhlman's right back on the attack. Staved off there by Lowry. Pops in front. Here's Kuhlemans. And that's how you eliminate a chance. Mason Lowry, two of the best freshman defensemen, going at it there. But plenty of support back for the University of Wisconsin with 40 seconds to go in their power play. Zach Ertl in across the line. Right Sam Stang the shot. And Jakob Dobish will melt that down for a faceoff. Yeah, unlucky for the batters. The Buckeyes caught a break there. Kuhlman saw a man streaking, but fortunately he was streaking to the bench. Gustav Westland at Ohio State. They have returned to full strength. Westland trying the bad angle shot as there was a touch of room. It's James Marooney. He's quietly had two assists so far. His row will reverse it. Problem is, it's Treelor there. Quick shot by Marooney, stopped by Rowe. Puck is still lively. The Buckeyes all over it. Watch out until it's stolen. Breakaway. Max Johnson in. And Jakob Dobish making the pad save on Johnson. Rooney trying to make that pass over to Travis Treeler. He's not able to. But Dobish. I don't know if you should be giving any more compliments as soon as you tell. Rooney had a nice start to the game with assists. He coughs one up. Max Johnson on the breakaway. And there's Gustav Wesley. What a strong stick there by Fiesi. Now it's said Locha. In pursuit behind him is Josh S. Georgie Merkulov. That snapshot off the goalpost. Count the puck because he sees his defender doesn't have the puck. With Georgie Merkulov, you talk about it. Marooney the shot. Gets through it. It's covered up. Coaches are usually right. Just ask them. Looking for the rebound in front. There's Gorniak. No penalty there. Wise was in the vicinity. Someone was doing something illegally defending. Of Dobish. And I think it's Gorniak. If he's going to get to that puck, Rooney does a good job. He'll take that penalty. Generally making the right plays, but man, sometimes you can give your, give your coaches maybe a few extra gray hairs. Stang is in front. Erdahl looks him off and takes the shot himself. Dobish was up to the task. 45 to go in the advantage. S spinning that puck around here on the power play. Straight away with Erdahl parked in front. But time and room and the Buckeyes will clear it. 
halfway through this second period. It's been a goalless second period so far. Georgie Merkulov trying to change that in, shoots, he scores! Georgie Merkulov, second of the game, third on the weekend. What a pass by Grant Gabriel up to Merkulov. He shields the, the defender and goes five hole. Just under that right pad of Cam Rowe. And now a more comfortable two-goal lead here with under 10 minutes to go in the second. Looking for more now. Gildon breaks, wait, shoots, scores! He did it last night. He does it tonight. Michael Gildon and Ohio State make it 4-1. Defender does it well. He points that guy, go to that guy, but he dives a little early. It was Josh S. and Gildon is very patient, toes it around him. He almost pretty much just stops on a dime, gets his head up and goes to the blocker's side. And much like Cooley, Jared Moe has replaced Cameron Rowe. Of course, Moe was the starter last night for Wisconsin. There's Lowry thumping that shot wide. Buckeyes buzzing here. Marooney, low shot off the goal post. For majority of the end of the second and all the third, that was the big difference in that game, not having one of your top defensemen out there for you. Cooley, little backhand, impressive that he just got that shot away. Jaden Leslie from the left wing boards. Cooley is in front. Softly back to the point. O'Connell returns. Mo the save. Cherimetta on the doorstep with the rebound. There's O'Connell. Cherimetta thought about shooting, keeps it alive. McWard the drive. Jared Moe the save. Badgers need a clearance. And Erdahl will just lift it high to center. He can get some confidence going in his game. Look out. Now scampering down the far side. Single to the backhand shot. Big save there by Moe. He's been in the game. Tate Singleton, another guy that brings depth to this offensive unit for the Buckeyes. Lowers his shoulder. Gets a nice shot. Goaltenders always tell you that. They certainly want to avoid getting embarrassed tonight because this is not completely reflective of the way they've played this weekend. It's O'Connell. Nick Ward. There's Cooley flying in front looking for a rebound. There's no rebound because Cole McWard, a lethal laser. It's 5-1 Ohio State. Elevated and he's brought more offensive punch. Well, he gets some time out there as guy. Cooley goes to the net. Pelton and backs off of him, and he goes high on the short side. Kind of looks off the off, his offensive guys. Look at that shot. Shots is 22-16. Yeah, it's a decisive 5-1 advantage right now for Ohio State. Trying to stretch their unbeaten run. It will be interesting to see how much that affects them matching up against Ohio State. Here's Mason Lowry. Saunters across the line. That's right on. Not a problem for Jared Moe. It's really important now to stay in that top 10 range to ensure a spot in the NCAA tournament. There's Malmquist. First shot rejected. Second one deflecting wide. Donovan will keep it in, but only for a moment. Now tapped ahead. Jake Wise moves it around. Dunlap turns and fires, and that hit a badger in front. Little back and forth. McWard unleashing that one timer and again. It's blocked. D St. Foul was in the vicinity. Matthew D St. Foul. Little toe drag. Look at that. D St. Foul wrap around. Scores! Brilliant goal. Matthew D St. Foul. The USHL and goals or points two years ago. Shows the toe drag and then gets Dobish to bite on his far side. Goes around the net, wraps it in on his backhand. Not easy to do on your backhand side. He tucks it in. What a one-man effort there. Matty D. St. Bell with some skill. Very calm with his play there. High skill. Gustav Westland, maybe a guy that has seen his role change a little bit well at Ohio State. Now here on the counter, it's Morrison, low shot wide. 
And Dobish closes the door on the rebound. Merkulov is eliminated. He's able to worm his way free. Merkulov will drop it off. Gabriel in from the point. One-timer said Locha. Patted aside by Jared Moe. Final seconds. That's a comfortable 5-2 lead after two periods of play. Plus, it's a Saturday night on a college campus celebrating a potential sweep. You're thinking if you're Ohio State right now, Wisconsin has other ideas, trying to wreck the party here on the road. Awaiting is Jack Gorniak. It's cut off by Regula at center. Bodies down everywhere. Ohio State ends up with the puck, but just for a brief moment, they get it back. Kicked back to Lowry in the point. He scores. Mason Lowry. It's now 6-2. The freshman joins the party. In their 6-0 win last Saturday, Jake Wise with a nice little drop pass, and he just rips it high over the blocker side. Jared Moe was screened. It looked like by his own defenseman. It goes to the far side. Jared Moe has no chance. And Mason Max Johnson. Slowly in. Josh Ash shoots, tipped. Dobish the save. Out of the scrum, it's James Marooney. Gabriel. Fisi drives it towards the goal, forcing Mo to make a stop. Trelor didn't want to touch it, or it would have been whistled dead for a high stick. This is Gustav Wesley spinning around, creates a little room, dancing in, shoots, and Mo the save. Trelor missed on the rebound. Just protecting that puck, finally. A turnover, and it's a Sean, exhausted, high shot. Mo the save. Rebound was available for a moment. For, for the Buckeyes, Roman Sean would have been exhausted for a good minute out there and didn't have any gas left in the tank. McWard shot, oh, that got through. Mason Lowry, or a Corson Kuhlman for Wisconsin. Or Luke Hughes. Yep. The list goes on. Here's Wisconsin looking for some life. Carnesenia, Jeff's big slap shot. My goodness, he had a cannon. He's such a smooth defenseman. Plus a good-looking lad, too, so. So he's got a few things going for yeah, him. Yeah, he might want to take that helmet off in the warm-up. <laughs> Show that hair. Ooh. There's Dobish almost got himself in a pickle again. Trelor racing the other way here with Gustav Wessler. Breaks. The little reverse hit there on Matthew D. St. Val from Gustav Wessler. 11 minutes to go. You want to get something good out of this power play. Merkulov feathers it back and forth with Mason Lowry. Merkulov inches in, fires, rebound. Jared Moe takes care of it. Wessler. Thiesing is in front. Looking for more shots here, not the perfect one. O'Connell's drive, grazing the arm there of Jared Moe. 20 seconds to go in the advantage. McWard to Gustav Westland. McWard, the one-timer, stopped by Moe. Gorniak, great little play there to give to Mersh, who had the open lane to clear it. As go on now, it's a little easier now to transfer. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out over the next couple of years in the Big Ten and across the country. Like you said, maybe why they were picked seventh, because that was a huge question mark for the Buckeyes, and boy, has he answered it. So I mentioned that Yoko, Jakob Dobish to Red Berenson in Ohio State and how good they are, and he just said, and it's a simplistic, brilliant response, but so true. All good teams have good goalies. Said Locha just lets it go. And it's Regula right on. Just looks like a dejected, tired Wisconsin team right now. You know, I think they're doing their best. It's just the Buckeyes, too, are just controlling the puck, controlling the play. You get tired of chasing. Especially, they were champions last year. Young guys that don't have a lot of experience, they weren't as highly touted, able to come up with you know, finding those 30 Cole Caulfield goals and getting that power play at like 25 to 30%. So, 
Final tonight's going to be 6-2 Ohio State. Feeling fine in first place right now.